this is Rai and welcome back to Rai's Bake. So for today's vlog, gagawa tayo ng Devil's Food Cake. So I already have uploaded a lot of chocolate cake recipes sa aking mga previous vlogs. So if you want to try those recipes, ilalagay ko yung recipes sa aking description box. And by the way, lahat ng mga ingredients na gagamitin ko for our Devil's Food Cake, ilalagay ko rin sa aking description box. So before we start our baking today, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now. And please don't forget to click the notification bell to notify you on my new upload video. So without further ado, let's get started! Let's bake our devil's food cake. Let's begin. In a bowl, i-add natin ang ating cocoa powder and light brown sugar. And then, let's add our vanilla extract. Pour 1 cup of warm water with instant coffee sa ating cocoa mixture. You can always keep putting instant coffee kung ayaw nyo. But ako, nilalagay ko to para mas lalong ma-enhance yung chocolatey flavor ng aking cake. Mix it well until na madissolve yung ating cocoa powder and light brown sugar. And then let's set aside. In a separate bowl, i-add natin ang ating butter. I-cream natin ang ating butter until it's pale yellow. And then, pwede na natin i-add yung ating white sugar. I-continue lang natin i-cream yung ating butter and sugar. In this recipe, I use two large eggs. So, i-add lang natin one by one yung ating egg. So, add na natin yung unang egg and then let's mix it. And then, let's add another one and mix it well. So, let's combine our dry ingredients. Let's add our all-purpose flour and baking powder and baking soda. And I make sure na i-whisk ko yung aking dry ingredients para ma-avoid yung lumps o buo-buo ng harina sa aking mixture. And just mix it well. Once it's fully combined, pwede na nating i-add ang ating cocoa mixture. Make sure na scrape natin yung gilid ng ating bowl para ma-mix natin ng maayos ang ating cake butter. For this recipe, I use 6x6 round pan. Grease lang natin yung ating pan and then let's pour our cake butter. Don't forget to preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius and bake it for 30 to 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. 
So, ayan, ready na yung ating cake. And let's cool down for 2 to 3 hours. So, while waiting, let's make our chocolate ganache frosting. In a bowl, i-add lang natin yung ating chocolate compound, butter, and whipping cream. In a saucepan, nagpakulo lang ako ng tubig and then nilagay ko sa ibabaw yung aking stainless bowl. I-mix lang natin ito hanggang sa matunaw yung ating chocolate and butter. Once na natunaw na ito, palamigin natin for 1 to 2 hours and then may kita nyo na medyo thick na yung ating chocolate ganache. So, let's assemble our cake. So, ayan, tanggal na natin yung ating cake sa pan. Kinat ko lang siya into 3 layers. Let's frost our cake. Maglagay lang tayo ng thin amount of chocolate ganache frosting sa ating first layer. Spread lang natin to evenly. Ipatong na natin yung ating second layer. Don't forget na maglagay ng sugar syrup sa ating cake para makip natin na moist yung ating cake. Maglagay na ulit tayo ng thin amount of chocolate ganache frosting and then spread lang natin ulit to evenly and pwede na natin ulit ilagay yung third layer na cake. Once we're done assembling our cake, we can now put our chocolate ganache sa ating cake. It's okay kung hindi perfect or hindi smooth yung pagkalagay ng ating chocolate ganache frosting.
Since hindi perfect yung pagkalagay ng aking chocolate ganache frosting, I decided na paikuti na lang yung aking spatula para magkaroon ng konting design yung aking cake. I added roasted peanuts sa ibabaw ng aking cake but this is optional. You can always keep this kung ayon yung lagyan ng peanuts sa ibabaw ng cake. Now our devil's food cake is now ready. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you learned something new today. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's Rice Bakes!